Customer states, my car has been going through batteries like crazy. It won't even hold a charge overnight. You see, help. Come over here. Let me show you what I found wrong with this car. After performing a parasitic draw test, I found that something was drawing close to eight amps. No wonder this car goes through batteries like crazy. Now, normally what I would do is pull fuses till that number goes down. But with the draw that high, should be able to see current flow with the thermal camera. This one's the one I'm going to be using today. This one's made by HFS Tools, and this is their HF96V thermal camera. I'm going to use it to quickly scan the car, starting with the engine compartments, going through the wiring harness, relays, solenoids. If any electrical components are on, this thermal camera should be able to pick up the heat from the current flow. I already scanned most of the interior components. No problems there. But let me show you where I did find a problem. Aha! Uh -huh. Sneaky, sneaky, but not sneaky enough. You see it? Yes, sir. That's where our big amperage draw is at. The rear defroster is staying energized. Next step, I'm going to pull the fuse for that circuit and make sure that my amperage draw goes away. Then we'll know if we have an input or an output problem. All right, the amperage did go down. After waiting a few minutes, there we can see the defroster is off. Here's what it looked like before, and here's the after. All right, so now I got to figure out what's causing it to stay on. Could be a relay, could be the component itself. But that's for another video. Stay tuned. So, yeah, that was pretty neat using this thermal camera on a parasitic draw test. As I mentioned earlier, this one's made by HFS, and they did send it to me to test out and review. And this one had some really cool features. For example, you could take a picture of the problem, send it to the customer, then you can switch to visual. That way, you can take a picture of the actual components so you can go back and reference. And it also has many different palettes to choose from, like the rainbow, white hot, above alarm, black hot. Red Hot Fusion, which is the one that I was using earlier. So yeah, it works really good and it's also very easy to use. And those are just some of the features. There's many more. For more information, I'll have the Amazon link in my profile.